Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet this women's shell stitch cardigan. So this cardigan can be made in a number of different sizes and for all of the information on how to make the different sizes please see the description box below. So I also quickly wanted to mention that I have made some of my most popular patterns available as written patterns. So if you look in the description box below this video I will have a link to where you can find them if you are interested. So thank you very much for watching and please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet so videos. So to begin your cardigan you want to start off by making a slip knot. So to do a slip knot take your yarn and take your finger and wrap the yarn around your finger once and then twice. Then take the first loop and pull it over the second loop and then take the second loop and pull it all the way over your finger. You then want to take your crochet hook, go in through this space and pull tight. And there you have a slip so knot. So once you have your slip knot, we are now going to make our foundation chain. And for our foundation chain, we are going to chain 66. So chain one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way up to 60. So I have just finished making my foundation chain and we are now ready to move on to round one of our so cardigan. So we are now on to round one and round one is just a simple round of double crochet. So we are just going to do one double crochet into each and every chain along. And we're going to work our first double crochet into the second chain from the hook. So here is the first chain from the hook and here is the second. And into this chain we're going to do our first double crochet. So to do a double crochet, yarn over and go into this chain, the second chain from the hook. Yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through the final two loops on your hook. So there we have one double crochet into that chain. So now yarn over and go into the next chain. So into the next one and do one double crochet into this chain. Then do one into the next one and do this all the way along for round one. One double crochet into each chain. So I have just finished working that all the way along for round one and at the end of this round you should find that you have 65 double crochets. So you should have worked 65 double crochets in that round and if you do then we are ready to move on to round two of our so cardigan. So we are now on to round two and to begin this round you want to chain one and turn and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So now in round two we're going to do one double crochet into one stitch but then two double crochets both into the next one. Then one double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochets into the next one all the way along. So to start off you want to yarn over and go down into this very first stitch here as our chain one did not count as a stitch. So go down into the first one and do one double crochet. And then we're going to go into the next stitch along and into this stitch we're going to do two double crochets both into this one. So yarn over and go into the stitch and do one double crochet, then yarn over and go back down into the same stitch again and do a second one. 
and then you want to yarn over and go into the next stitch and do one double crochet and then yarn over and go into the next one and do two double crochets both into this stitch. So we have done one, two, one, two and you want to repeat this all the way along for this round. So I am just coming to the end of round two. So I have done one, two, one, two all the way along. So I have done two double crochets both into this last stitch here. And you should find that you have one stitch left to work into at the end of the round. And into this stitch, we're going to do one double crochet. So yarn over and go down into this last stitch here. And you need to make sure that you're going into the last double crochet and not the chain one as the chain one that we skipped when we worked into the second chain from the hook does not count as a stitch. So make sure that you're going into the last double crochet and work one double crochet like that. And now we are ready to move on to round so three. So we are now on to round three. And to begin this round, you want to chain one and turn. And this chain one does not count as a stitch. So now round three is the exact same thing as round two. We're going to do one double crochet, two double crochets, one double crochet, two double crochets, all the way along, just like we did last round. But in this round, the only difference is, is that the positioning is going to be a little bit different. So the positioning of where we put our stitches this round is just a little bit different from last round. So we have chained one and turned, and we're going to start off by going down into this very first stitch here and working one double crochet. So go down into the first stitch and do one double crochet. And now we are going to move on to the next set of two double crochets from last round here. So you can see that this almost forms a V. And what we're going to do is we're going to go in between this V. So in between the two double crochets from last round. And we are going to work our two double crochets this round into this space. So yarn over, skip on to the next set of two double crochets and go in between them, so into the space between them and do one double crochet. And then yarn over and go back down into the same space again and do a second one like that. So there we have done one double crochet, two double crochets. So now you want to move on to the next individual double crochet here. So this is where we worked just one double crochet into one stitch last round. So move on to this next double crochet here and into this one, go into the stitch and do one double crochet. And then you want to move on to the next set of two. So the next V and we're going to go in between this V or in between the two stitches and work two double crochets both into this space. So there we have done one, two, one, two and we're going to repeat this all the way along for this round. So move on to the next individual double crochet here. So go into this stitch and work one double crochet. Then move on to the next V, go in the middle and do two double crochets, both into the space. Then go to the next individual double crochet here, go into the stitch and do one double crochet. Then go in between the next V or the next set of two and do two double crochets. And repeat this all the way along. So 
So I am just coming to the end of round three. So I have done two double crochets into this last V here and I have one stitch left to work into at the end and into this stitch I'm going to work one final double crochet. So yarn over, go into the last double crochet and again make sure that you're going into the double crochet and not the chain one and work one double crochet like that. So there we have round three completed and we're ready to move on to round so four. So we are now on to round four and to begin this round chain one and turn and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So now round four is very similar to the last two rounds but instead of doing one double crochet, two double crochets, one double crochet, two double crochets all the way along, in this round we're going to do one double crochet, three double crochets, one double crochet, three double crochets all the way along. So to start off, yarn over and go down into this very first stitch here and work one double crochet. And then just like last round, in this round we're going to be working in between the sets of two double crochets from last round. So you see we have this V here and just like last round we're going to go in between the V, so in the middle, but instead of doing two double crochets we're going to do three double crochets into this space. So yarn over, go into the space and do one, then do a second one, and finally a third. So there we have done one double crochet, three double crochets. Now we're going to skip on to the next individual double crochet. So just like last round, whenever we have an individual double crochet or a double crochet on its own, we're going to work one double crochet into that stitch. So yarn over, go to this double crochet and do one double crochet into the stitch and then move on to the next V or the next set of two and go to the space in the middle and work three double crochets all into this space. One, two and three. Then go to the next individual double crochet here. So where we worked just one double crochet into one stitch last round. Go into this stitch and do one double crochet. Then go to the next set of two, go into the middle and work three double crochets. And repeat this all the way along. One, three, one, three, one, three. So I am just coming to the end of round four and I have done my last set of three double crochets into the last V here and now I'm going to go into the last stitch at the end of the round and work one double crochet to finish. So there we have done rounds one, two, three and four and we are ready to move on to round so five. To begin round five, chain one and turn and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So now round five is the exact same as last round. So we are going to do one double crochet, three double crochets, one double crochet, three double crochets, all the way along just like we did last round. But in round five, the positioning of the stitches is going to be just a little bit different. So we have chained one and turned and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So now you want to yarn over, go down into the first stitch and do one double crochet into this stitch. So do one double crochet into the first stitch and then you want to move on to the next set of three double crochets here 
and we are going to go to the middle of this set of three, so into the second one. So here we have one double crochet, two double crochets and three double crochets. And you want to go to the middle one and we are going to work three double crochets all into this stitch. So yarn over, go down into this stitch, the second one, and do one double crochet. Then do a second one. And then do a third. So three all into this stitch. And now we're going to move on to the next individual double crochet here. So the next individual double crochet, go into this stitch and work one double crochet. So that is just like the last few rounds, we work one double crochet into each individual double crochet. And then move on to the next set of three, go to the middle, so the second one, and do three double crochets all into this stitch. So one, two, and three. And continue to repeat this all the way along. Do one double crochet into the individual double crochet, and then three into the middle of the set of three. So repeat one, three, one, three, all the way so along. So I'm just coming to the end of this round. So I have done three double crochets in the middle of this last set of three here. And then we want to finish off by going into the very last double crochet at the end of the round and doing one double crochet. So there we have completed round five, one, two, three, four, five. And we are ready to move on to round six. So we are six. now on to round six. And to begin this round, you want to chain one and turn. And this chain one does not count as a stitch. So now in round six, we are going to do one double crochet, four double crochets, one double crochet, four double crochets, all the way along. So what we're going to do is yarn over and we're going to go down into this very first stitch here and work one double crochet. And then just like last round, we're going to go to the next set of three and you want to go to the middle stitch, the second one. But into this stitch, we're going to work four double crochets. So we're working four this round, not three. So yarn over, go into the middle of the set of three and do one double crochet, then a second, third and fourth, like that. And now go to the next individual double crochet here and do one double crochet into this stitch. Then move on to the next set of three, go to the middle stitch, so the second one along, and do four double crochets all into this stitch. So one, two, three, and four. And we're going to repeat that all the way along. One, four, one, four, one, four. So I am just coming to the end of round six. So I have done my last set of four double crochets and then just like every other round, finish off by doing one double crochet into this stitch at the very end here. And as usual, make sure that you're going into the double crochet and not the chain one. So there we have completed round six and this is what you should have. And now we are ready to move on to round seven. So we seven. are now on to round seven. And to begin this round, chain one and turn. And this chain one does not count as a stitch. So now this round is the exact same as last round. So just like last round, we're going to do one double crochet, four double crochets, 
one double crochet, four double crochets, all the way along. But in this round, the positioning of the stitches is going to be a little bit different again. So to start off, yarn over and go down into this first stitch here and do one double crochet into this stitch. And then you want to move on to your next set of four double crochets. And we are going to go in the middle of this set of four. So in the space between the second and third double crochet. So here is the first double crochet. Here is the second, the third and the fourth. And you want to go into the space between the second and third one here. And into this space, we're going to work four double crochets. So yarn over and go in between the second and third double crochet and do four double crochets. So like that. So there we have done one four. So now move on to the next individual double crochet here and go into this stitch and do one double crochet and then move on to the next four and go in the middle in the space between the second and third double crochet and work four double crochets all into this space. So one, two, three and four like that. Then do one double crochet into the next individual double crochet here. So where we have just one double crochet into one stitch. Then move on to the next set of four and do four in the middle of this set. And repeat that all the way along for this round. One, four, one, four, so one, four. So I'm just four. coming to the end of this round and I have worked four double crochets into this last set at the end. And then to finish off, do one last double crochet into the last double crochet at the end of the round. So there we have done rounds one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And we are ready to move on to round eight. So to eight. begin round eight, you want to chain one and turn. And this chain one does not count as a stitch. So now this round is very similar to the last few rounds. But instead of doing one, three, one, three, or one, four, one, four, all the way along, in this round we're going to do one double crochet, five double crochets, one double crochet, five double crochets, all the way along. So we have chained one and turned. So now start off by going down into this first stitch here. So go down into the first stitch and work one double crochet. And now we're going to move on to our next set of four double crochets. And just like last round, we're going to go in the middle. So in the space between the second and third double crochet. And into this space, we're going to work five double crochets. So go into the space and work one, two, three four and five so in the space between the second and third double crochets then go on to the next individual double crochet and do one double crochet and then in the middle of the next set of four so in between the second and third do five double crochets and repeat this all the way along one five one five one five. So I have five. finished working that all the way along for round eight. So I did my last set of five double crochets and then just like all of the other rounds I worked one last double crochet into this last stitch here. And now we are ready to move on to round nine of our so cardigan. So to begin this round you want to chain one and turn and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So now round nine is the exact same thing as last round. We're going to do one double crochet, five double crochets, one double crochet, five double crochets, all the way along. 
it's just that the positioning in this round is a little bit different again. So to start off, we're going to go down into this very first stitch here and do one double crochet. And then you want to move on to the first set of five and we're going to go to the middle of this set, so the third double crochet. So here's the first double crochet, the second, the third, fourth and fifth. And you want to go to the third one. And into this stitch we're going to do five double crochets. So go into this one, the third double crochet and work. So five. there we have one double crochet, five double crochets. And now we're going to go to the next individual double crochet and work one double crochet into this one. Then move on to the next set of five, go into the middle stitch, so the third one along, so one, two, three, go into this stitch and do five double crochets all into this one. like that. Then go to the next individual double crochet here and do one double crochet and then move along to the next set of five, go into the middle and do five double crochets and do this all the way along. One five one five one five. So I'm just coming to the end of round nine so I have worked my last set of five double crochets and now I'm going to go into the very last stitch at the end here and do one double crochet into this stitch. So there I have completed round nine and we are ready to move on to round so 10. To round 10, you want to start off by chaining one and turning. So now in round 10, we're going to do one double crochet, six double crochets, one double crochet, six double crochets, all the way along. And this is our last increase round. So this is the last round that we're going to do before we add in the shape of our cardigan. So we're going to do one double crochet, six double crochets, one double crochet, six double crochets, all the way along. So go down into this first stitch here and do one double crochet. Then go to the next set of five and go to the middle stitch, so the third one. But in this round, we're going to do six double crochets all into this stitch. So there we have one, two, three, four, five, and six like that then do one double crochet into the next individual double crochet and then do six into the middle of the next set of five so into the third one one two three and continue this all the way along for round ten one six one six one so six. I have just come to the end of round ten and at the end of that round, this is what you should have. So you should have one big loop. And when I came to the end of that round, I just worked one final double crochet into the last stitch at the end. So I worked my last set of six double crochets and then did one final double crochet into the stitch at the end. So there we have completed round 10 and we are now ready to move on to the next So we are round. now on to round 11 and in this round we're going to turn our big loop which we have here into a cardigan shape. So to do that what we're going to do is we're going to work along a certain number of stitches for the first half of the front of the cardigan. We're then going to skip a certain number of stitches for the first armhole, then work along another number of stitches for the back, skip another number of stitches for the other armhole, and then work along another number of stitches for the other half of the front. And that is how we are going to add the shape in in this round. So we're adding in a front, a back and two So armholes. to begin this round you want to chain one and turn and this chain one does not count as a stitch. 
and we are now going to go down into this very first double crochet that we worked here. So go down into the first stitch and do one double crochet into this stitch. So start off by doing one double crochet. So now in this round, we're going to start looking at our work in sets. So if you look at our work, one set is six double crochets and then one double crochet. So this here is one set. So here is our second set and we have six double crochets and one double crochet. This is a set. Then we have six double crochets, one double crochet. That is another set. So we are going to be working in sets for this round. And at the moment, you should have 32 sets around. So you should have 32 sets of six double crochets and then one double crochet at the moment in your cardigan. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the first half of the front of our cardigan. And the first half of the front is five sets long. So we're going to work five sets of six double crochets, then one double crochet for the first half of the front. So here we have one set, six double crochets, one double crochet. Here we have a second set, there we have a third, then a fourth, and finally a fifth. So we're going to work five sets of six double crochets, then one double crochet for the first half of the front. So to start off, we're going to begin by working our first set. So we need to work six double crochets and we're going to work our six double crochets in the middle of the set of six from last round. So if you look at our first set of six here, we're going to go into this space in the middle. So this space is between the third and fourth double crochet. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Go in between the third and fourth, right in the middle. And into this space, we're going to do six double crochets. So yarn over, go into the space and do one. Then do a second, third, fourth, fifth, and six. So there we have six double crochets like that and now we're going to go to the next individual double crochet here and do one double crochet. So there we have one set, we have six double crochets, one double crochet and we need to do that four more times for the first half of the front. So go into the middle of the next set of six so in between the third and fourth double crochet and work six double crochets. So then we have done six double crochets in the middle of that set of six. And now work one double crochet into the next stitch here. So into the next individual double crochet. So there we have a second set of six double crochets, one double crochet. And do that three more times until you have five sets. So I have just finished working those five sets for the first half of the front. So you can see I have one, two, three, four, five. So five sets of six double crochets, one double crochet. And we have finished off by doing one double crochet into this stitch here. So there we have the first half of the front of our cardigan completed. And we are ready to move on to the first armhole. So for the armhole, you simply want to skip six sets. 
So we're going to skip six sets of six double crochets, one double crochet. So if you count here, so we're going to count one set, two sets, three sets, four, five and six. We're going to skip all of these stitches, so skip six sets. So now you want to go to the next set of six double crochets directly after the end of this sixth set which we are skipping. So here is the last set which we are skipping for the armhole. And now you want to move on to the next set of six and we're going to go in the middle of this set of six and work six double crochets. So here is the sixth set which I'm skipping. So here I have my set directly after that and I'm going to yarn over and go in the middle of this set. So in between the third and fourth double crochet and work six double crochets. So there's one, two, all the way up to so six. like that. So there I have worked those six double crochets. And now I would recommend that you just quickly go back and check that you did skip six for the armhole. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and I did. And now we are moving on to the back of our cardigan. So the back of our cardigan is 10 sets long. So we need to work 10 sets of six double crochets, one double crochet for the back. So we have just worked six double crochets into this space here. And this is actually the first part of our very first set of the back. So now we need to go into the next stitch here. So the next individual double crochet and work one double crochet. So there we have done the very first set of the back. So we need to do nine more. So the back is 10 sets long. So go into the middle of the next set of six and do six double crochets. Then do one, six, one, six, one, six, until you have 10 sets. So I have just finished working all the way along for the back. So I did 10 sets. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So I have finished off by doing one double crochet here. So I have my 10 sets for the back. And now we're going to move on to the next armhole. And for this armhole, we're just going to do the same thing as the last one. So we're going to skip six sets. So skip six sets of six double crochets and then one double crochet. So we're crochet. going to skip one set, two sets, three sets, four sets, five and six. So here is the last set which we're going to skip. And then you want to go to the set of six double crochets directly after that last set which we have skipped. And we're going to go in the middle of this set of six, so in between the third and fourth double crochet and work six double crochets. So yarn over, go into the middle and work six. So this is the middle of the one directly after the last set that we are skipping. So like that. And then I would recommend that you just go back and double check that you did skip six sets. And if you have, then we are ready to move on to the other half of so the front. So we are now on to the other half of the front of our cardigan. And for this half, you just want to continue working your sets all the way along. And this should be five sets in total. So we have already started our very first set here by doing these six double crochets. So now we're going to do one double crochet and then continue sets all the way along. And this should be four more sets or five so in I total. So I finished working those sets along for the other half of the front. And there we have finished round 11. So you can see we have a front, a back and two armholes. So we have added in the shape to our cardigan. 
And now we're ready to move on to the rest of our cardigan. So we cardigan. are now on to round 12. And the rest of our cardigan is very simple. You simply want to repeat rounds of chain one and turn and then work your sets all the way around and then chain one and turn again and continue to work sets all the way around. So those are your sets of six double crochets, one double crochet. So just continue to work those sets all the way around and then work round after round after round until you feel that your cardigan is long enough. So you could just do two or three more rounds and make a little bolero or you could go all the way down and make a full length cardigan, it is up to you. So to begin each round, so this is the way that we're going to begin every other round of our cardigan. You want to chain one and turn. So every single round of our cardigan is going to be the exact same thing as what I'm showing you now. So we have chained one and turned and then you want to start each round by doing a double crochet down into this first double crochet here. So this is what we do to start every round. And now we're going to begin working our sets of six double crochets, one double crochet, six double crochets, one double crochet, all the way around. So go to the next set of six, go into the middle. So in the middle, just as we did last round, and do six double crochets. So this is just the same as we did last round. So we're doing six in the middle here. So like that. Then go to the next individual double crochet and do one double crochet. Then go to the next set of six Go in the middle and do six and repeat this all the way around. So when you get to the very end of the round, you will do your last set of six double crochets and then one double crochet. And then you want to repeat that round again. Chain one and turn and do one double crochet down into the first stitch. Then do six double crochets, one double crochet, six double crochets, one double crochet, all the way around and keep repeating that round, round 12, again and again and again, until your cardigan is the length that you want it. And in this round, this very first round, when you get to the armholes here, just go straight across. We're not going up into the armholes, the arms are finished now, you have these little cap sleeves, these are finished, so you just want to go straight across. So you will do six double crochets here, then do one double crochet into this stitch, then six, one. So you just go straight across. So just go straight across. And once you have done those rounds, you will have finished so your So I have cardigan. finished repeating those rounds and I have my cardigan to the length that I want it. And then I fastened off. So pulled my yarn out and my hook and cut my yarn. And then you want to weave all of your ends nice and securely into the inside of your cardigan. You must make sure that you weave them in. If you just cut them off, your work will come undone. So weave them into the inside using a yarn needle. And then I went ahead and attached two little buttons up the top here. And then I just used the spaces in between the stitches on the opposite side as buttonholes. And I have finished. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it easy to follow. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. And thanks again for watching. Bye.